In this video, you're going to see my first training session with Lance, who built my first compound bow. You're going to be able to see how you can adjust your draw length, your draw width, the ins and outs of the bow just in general, the parts of the compound bow, and how important they all are. You're also going to see a lot of instruction that Lance provided me, as well as some major epic fails, as well as a little success. But this is an awesome video to watch all the way through if you're just starting out and learning how to get into um, archery. So hopefully you'll enjoy this video and learn a lot like I did today. This is a new bow, which what I intend to do, because your goal is elk, right? Yep. That's your goal. Like this, I wouldn't be comfortable sending you out in the woods after elk. But I think this is what you need just to get started. Mm -hmm. And then, so I'm gonna lend this to you. Oh, okay. Right, to shoot it, get used to it. Um, and then what I'm gonna do for this bow is I'm gonna actually buy the short draw cam. There's a, a whole nother cam okay. system. I'm gonna get that. And then um, we can use this to figure out what your draw length. So you see all those holes, that's so much more adjustment. But because it has all, all that adjustment, it's kind of a, it's not a high performance bow. Right. It's just a get you started bow. This is more of a high performance bow. This would kill out. Um, so let's figure out where your draw length is, what your comfort level is on as far as draw weight, because this will go lower than that one. Okay. And then um, get that squared away. I want you to practice on that. I already have the cams coming in. It'll be in here about a week. And then... So okay. you'll switch this part out right here? The, no, this whole thing right the here. The whole thing? Yep, the whole okay. cam. Put a whole new cam on there. And okay. that can go shorter than this one because, again, this is only got a half inch shorter that it can go. And if, yeah. if you think it's too long... It's definitely too yeah, long. I, back here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We want... So the goal back here on the anchor is the corner of your jaw where it comes to a point and then the you know the v, the point of the v right here in your hand mm -hmm. you want to match those two points up and you want like to just smush it together you want this bone on bone connection mm -hmm. and it, it, we call it an anchor point because we want it to like just sit and lock in and then so every time you pull your bow back it's in the same spot every single time mm -hmm. So just like shooting shotguns when you shoot ski, right. you don't have a rear sight. Your eyeball is the rear sight. Right. In order to get it to the right spot though, you have to figure out, you know, maybe the inch from your thumb or whatever. It's the same thing with this. Right okay. Here. This is, but you do have the peak. That's okay. Another, <clears throat> another reference. Okay. Will I be using um, a, release. a release with this yeah, one? Yeah. Any modern compound anymore, they're too short to use uh, fingers. Mm -hmm. uh, the older bows were up to here, right? And so the you know the valley was wide enough to accommodate fingers. Right. They're so short now that you, you almost need a single point, or if you could pull your bow with one finger, that would yeah maybe possible. Uh -huh. But from a repeatability standpoint too, it's you know getting the string out of the way okay. because there's so much let off <clears throat> back here. You don't have a lot of force pulling on the string, so there's a lot of opportunities for us as archers to introduce inconsistencies. Mm -hmm. That's why the mechanical release, it's the same every single time. Um, that's how you get the accuracy out of these ones. Okay. But, um, let me, so this is at 25 and a half. I want you to try and shoot this thing. Do you have a little spot over here? Yeah. Oh, you have a cool little. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that's it. Well, I'm super excited. Your breath stinks. I'll just clip that part out. I'm, I'm going to say it again so you have to clip a whole bunch of stuff out. Okay. 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 So you want to take this down? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, I don't know, I'm not sure, it's probably 
So you're measuring the draw weight right now. The draw weight right now. That's super cool. So 34, 35, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43. Almost 44 pounds. And I think your bow is set at 48. Okay. We got room to come down on this. When was the last time you worked uh, shoulders? Mm -hmm. I worked shoulders two days, or actually, yesterday was shoulder and back day. But I didn't go crazy. Okay. Um, but like I said, I was super close to getting that to draw. We actually want it to be easy to draw because we want to work on form first and then we'll build in the uh, weight. And, and that's taking a little bit of weight off, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just a few pounds. And you take weight off on both ends. Yeah, we want to take it off evenly, evenly. so that the cams uh, are tying the same, the cam will weigh the same time until you get accuracy. That's a pretty cool contraption you got there. You make your own arrows too, don't you? Yeah. That's what yeah. I thought. So it came down about four pounds. So I knock first this way, when I, when I grab the arrow, I got the thumb pointing down, knock it, go through the gate, I hook in, check my feet, I get my grip, how I want it, and then point my shoulder, pull through, find my anchor, center the peak, Rest my finger on it, freeze it, and pull everything through. You see this uh, going that way? Mm -hmm. Is because rather than <clears throat> activating the trigger, pivoting my finger, I actually pull through everything, and that fires the shot. Okay. Okay. Let me grab your arrow on this way. Oh, I see what you're doing. You're getting me into a. Yep, yep, knock. Nah. Through the gate. Yeah, get behind the trigger. Good. So go ahead and lean forward, push your hand on like you're telling someone to stop. This one. Oh. Point at the target. Yeah. And then lean forward, pull only the arrow back. There you go. Shorten the draw length. Okay, you're gonna shorten the draw length yeah, a little bit. Yep. Yeah. Uh, this is a 60 pound bow. I got it at 48 pounds right now. Yeah. But it's be only because elk was the goal. Yeah. Right. So my baby's gonna get a rehaul. Yep. Yeah. Once right. I get everything taken care of. So 
So how hard is it to change up the draw well, length? I would say it's hard. It just takes time. So you adjust the draw length. So this whole thing right here is called a cam. On the cam is this little uh, arch right here. That's called a module. So when you pull through the string, you see you rotate the cam. Mm -hmm. What's happening is this module picks up this cable right here. See that? Mm -hmm. If you follow this guy, so it's going to get wound up on, on the module. If you follow this cable, what it does is it goes to basically a very small radius um, axle here. Mm -hmm. Effectively, as this gets pulled, that pulls this limb inward. See that deflection? Right. Yeah. And that's where your power comes from. Okay. <clears throat> what happens is when you pull enough through, the radius between where the string is at and this axle, the point of rotation, changes. So as you pull through, you see the radius getting bigger mm -hmm. and bigger and bigger. Eventually, it gets to a very large point where it gives you a lot of mechanical leverage over the system. And that's where you get the let off. Also, the module lets you off. Okay. okay. So I'm going to change the position of the module. And this will change the drawing in addition to the draw stops. That's why I need a draw board. I can't, you know, just do it at someone's house. Do you fix people's bows too? Yeah, yeah. Uh, within limitations, some bows uh, require parts from um, the manufacturer, and they usually don't sell them to people who are not authorized dealers. So that's the limitation. But if it's something where it's just tuning uh, that doesn't require parts, I do that. Yeah, most of those are either customers or our personal um, bowls. This is pretty light. I mean, this, all this extra looks like it's... That's a carbon fiber bowl. You can pick it up. That's a Hoyt uh, Carbon Defiant, which is three years, three model years old. Is Obsession Bows the only bows you work with? No, I'm, I picked up uh, Expedition, mm -hmm. uh, and I'm still waiting for my... Uh, initial shipment to come in. Okay. But Expedition and Obsession are actually, if you think of the design of the bow, they're basically half siblings because they have the same cam designer, Kevin Stroder. And so the famous smooth but fast draw cycle that Obsession is known for, Expedition also has. But Expedition started with the aerospace engineer. He's the guy that started. And his goal was to build you know, something that was more engineering. So kind of dry, I guess. <laughs> but the, he made the bows lighter. So they're almost a pound lighter per bow when you just start off with a base bow. And overall weight on the bow is a personal preference because some people actually prefer a heavier bow. Kind of like your guns, right? Some people think a lighter gun, it, it feels too whippy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you have to, right. you can get a, it whips up a little bit more. Right. Heavier ones don't have as much of a up kick. Yes. Yeah. And the uh, bow is the same, same thing going on there. So. And then you're checking the poundage again? No, I'm uh, adjusting oh. the draw stops so that your cams are timed perfectly. Or close to perfect, because we're just fitting.
So basically, I'm getting a training bow. Well, just a starter bow. Okay. Just While the other one gets rebuilt. Yes. Okay. Is this that release you had? Uh, yeah. And, and this one. This is the, the four finger version. I found the four finger to be easier to use. This is the one that you brought that day, right? Yeah. Yeah. I think I brought both of them. I'm setting the draw length according to the module setting. That's it. And then these uh, pegs right here with the rubber is called a draw stop. And the draw stops. Uh, that's what you pull against, you know, when you're at full draw. Mm -hmm. And these are what give you that solid back wall. Uh, some bowls, like the Carbon Defiant, uh, finish off on a cable and not on a hard limb. So they tend to have a more of a mushy feel. And some people like that, just like heavy and light bowls. Some people prefer that, some people don't. And the advantage to having draw stops like this versus cable stops is you can actually tailor what the back wall feels like for you. So some people like a, a big valley, which you can kind of fall asleep at full draw and just think about, did you leave the gas on at home or <laughs> balance the checkbook? Or you can set it with no valley, which most target archers like. But you got to pay attention through the whole show moment you kind of relax that bow's taken off on you. <laughs> it's all personal preference. But this gives you a lot of adjustability for both the uh, valley feel. Mm -hmm. There we go. This right here gives you the uh, option to adjust the feel. Mm -hmm. This yoke system right here allows you to lean or unlean the cam. Okay. So there's a tremendous amount of adjustments that are available in this bow. So let's try this. Okay. Yeah? You're good. Is it, you want me to come, come from here, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, hold your bow with your, sh your shooting hand. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, grab out, uh, thumb point down. Like that. Oh, yeah, it's getting home and backwards like that. Yeah. Yeah, now. And later on, I'll, I'll put the. Um, oh, I see. Like the other one had mm -hmm. a little. Yeah, I'll put that on for you. Uh, see if you can rotate your, yeah, like this, so instead of this way, this way. This way? Yeah, like that. But, oops. Ah, you can turn this over. Do you want me to turn this a little bit more? Yeah, I want it flat so the trigger points straight through your clock. Oh, no. Too short? Yeah. You can let down the shoot. I'll shoot it. Yeah. Yes. Shoot. I need to shoot an arrow. There you go. Oh, never mind. Okay. We won't shoot. Yeah. You go ahead and edit that out. Okay. Yep. Good. Yeah. My elbow's way up high. Yeah. 
Mm -hmm. That's the weirdest thing that I can If I took this off, I bet you I could pull it. Yeah. So I want you to focus. Is there any shorter one, please? Um, hold the weight. And I want you to think about pulling the bow through this part of your arm, specifically this point. So I want you, as far as focus, to almost ignore this, right? We just get behind the trigger so you're safe. And I want you to pull through here. So just think of it as a, a lat isolation. Lat yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah. So I like the lat pull down. Yes. Translated sideways. Translated sideways. Yeah. How close am I to breaking it down? How close? Can you tell? Um, here's a, another thing that you can do. Um, so if this is the, the bow out here, I'm telling it to stop right at my hip, I might lean forward. But see the angle uh -huh. I'm changing? So it's still level with the ground. Right. And then I'm gonna bring this guy over the top here so that when we pull through, we're using the lat. Right. Okay, we're focusing on this point coming back. We ignore this. Okay. You're gonna grab onto it, it's fine, but don't try to pull through here because you're gonna use a lot of bicep. So we're just gonna do this. So I'm gonna lock everything here and then I'm gonna lean back and I'm just gonna pull, but also watch this arm, it came down because we want the arrow to be level with the ground, not. Shooting up in the air. Yeah, push out, sit down, point your shoulder. Because you started off with lat and then you came down. And when you came down, you're going you're translating to delta. So I keep my elbow up longer? Keep, yep, all the way through. It felt like, like a rainbow. Yeah, it felt super easy and then all of a sudden it got hard. Yeah. I you went from lat to lat deltoids. Lat to deltoids? Yep. So do a rainbow with your pulling arm. Am I good here? Yep. Oh, okay. There you go. Oh my God. So, yes. Yeah, that looks okay. I'm gonna, yeah, are you ready? May I shoot? Yeah. Good job. Oh, pick up my knee. And do the same thing, man. Pull through your elbow, the tip of your elbow, not through your hand. So you went to deltoid. Did so, I go to deltoid? Yeah, if you are, so I need to put my let, me, let me borrow this arm. So when you're starting off here, that's lat. When you start going down here, that's deltoid. Just, come come just yep, you went, okay, so if I, from you, you went here. You see how so it, it's going sideways? Totally exaggerate just staying up high. Doosh, yep. Super exaggeration, okay. Yes, it feels like an exaggeration, but you, it'll well, make sense in, okay. in a second. Smell your armpit, smell your armpit, smell your armpit, smell your armpit. Stop! That would kill me too. Mm. Alright, I'm gonna do a couple of shots, but I want you to stand behind me and watch the shot. Did my arm come down again? Uh, a little bit. A little bit? I thought it was fine. So maybe, maybe you can video from the um, back. And I'm gonna shoot. The same style release, so everything's the same. And I'm gonna shoot my hunting bow, so it's relatively heavy. To simulate the same thing. So if I use my target bow, that's cheating. Okay. So we we'll found a back shot here, and then just watch the path of my elbow. Hook in, check my feet, check my grip, push out, say stop, pull through, anchor, finger, and pull. I'll do this several times if you just hook in, check. 
with my feet, with my grip, say stop, pull through, anchor, peep on the peep. Check my feet, grip, say stop, pull through, anchor, peep inside of the peep, pull through. Anchor. Check my feet, get my grip, say stop, pull through, anchor, peep inside of the peep, and pull through. Send the arrow? Yeah. Oh. I don't want you to do it with me. You may get tired. Oh. So the original bow, you just changed the draw? Yeah, a little? down a uh, half an inch. Okay. And some... So it's the same draw from the one I was just practicing with? I'm making it happen right. A bit, a bit of voodoo magic going on right here. Goo goo magic? Voodoo. Oh, voodoo magic. Voodoo magic, yeah. So, I'm cheating some of the specs. So, like, if you did strict, like, this is by the manual, I'm outside of the manual right now. And we're going to see how this works out for you. From an accuracy, accuracy standpoint, this is actually going to be a more accurate bow in this setting. But we'll see if you like how it feels. Weight is the same. Right now, weight is the same. I'm going to come down a couple of times. Because this is heavier than the, the bow that you just um, shot. By quite a bit. So, I'm going to get closer. As close as I can get. <clears throat> As I get stronger, can mm -hmm. I actually change the weight yep. on our own at home? Yeah, so these are the limb bolts. That's what I worked on here. And what you want to do is you crank it the exact same rotations that you have. So you saw me kind of looking over the wrench mm -hmm. because I want to see what wrench. angle it's starting at. And when I come through the rotation, I stop at the exact same spot. Okie dokie. So. So when you change the weight, when you come down, you have to retime the rest. And it's just a simple thing of just pulling tighter on this cord. I see what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Okay. It doesn't have to be guitar tight, it just has to be tight where the rest is flat down like that. Okay. I think you can. Nice. I feel like I'm 
under serious pressure right now. No. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Over the head. Rainbow. Both arms, rainbow. Both, no, rainbow, rainbow, back up. High. Yep, there. Good. Okay. Start up there and rainbow both arms so that your abs stays level. Hopefully I'm not too tired. No, you're not. I just felt, it felt a little harder to pull, but was I just not high enough to yeah, when I yeah, first started? Yeah, mm -hmm. Okay, because I was like, gosh, that feels a you lot can, harder. You can pull this. I know you can pull this one. You got faith in me. Oh, I, I got Here's faith. Here's faith. My faith. Yeah. High level. High. Yeah. I want you to think of saying stop with your left hand. No, 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 no. Start over. Okay, I'm going to do some more shots. I want you to just watch me shoot. Yeah, it's I mean, yeah, that's what frustrates me because I... But it's just technique. It's I'm just like, I can do a lap pull down at 110, but I can't pull back a 45 pound bow. Yep, 40 pounds. You just need to use the same muscles that you use in your lap pull down, not the seated row. Not the seated row. Yeah. Which is more rom rhomboids. And deltoids. Posterior. Rom very intel okay, rhomboids and deltoids. Yeah, okay, I get it. I don't think people realize that how much hunting is mm -hmm. so much part of working out. It is. Yeah, I don't think a lot of people think that. They think they can just come and muscle it all. <laughs> Some people can, I which, mean, if you're built which like mice. Which, which is what I thought I was going to do, <laughs> is just muscle it. <laughs> but obviously, I'm not there yet. So, okay. So, I'm going to check yeah. my feet. Stop. Above your elbow, above your forehead, above, yes. Bring your front arm higher even. Okay. Rainbow. Rainbow, both arms. So as you pull in the rear one back, bring the front one down. That's not going anywhere. What the heck? What did you just Don't say? My wife. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> Okay. I'm just Pressure is on again. Do no, I don't not think about hit that. the wall. No, think about hitting the target. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Keep the arrow pointed at the target. Okay. Yep, yeah, check feet. High elbow, higher, 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 higher. There you go. Lean into it, lean forward. Good. Now say stop and pull only the arrow back with you and you lean back. It's almost there. Okay. Oh. And action. Yeah. <laughs> Twenty, what is it? Three hundred and twentieth try. Okay, I guess everybody has to learn somehow, right? Yeah. We all start. You're not born to be an archery hunter. Not out of the womb, no. Not out of the womb, hey. Okay. Oh, well. Uh -huh. I was. Of course you were. <laughs> that was the only skill you had. Uh, the only skill I need. Ouch. All right, so. Ooh. Yep, high, higher, higher. Lean forward, lean forward. Yes, there you go. Now, say stop, pull only the arrow back when you lean back. Don't focus on your arm, on your hand. Focus through your elbow, so your hand just gets pulled by your elbow. Ignore your hand. No, 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 no. So I did give up that day, but I haven't for many days after. And by the look of this target and the look on this face, you can tell that I've finally got that technique down. I've been able to turn up the weight. I'm going to be ready for archery season coming. But just remember, if you are just starting to learn archery, this does not happen overnight. And it does take a lot of technique. And a lot of work so there's more success to come and i can't wait to share it with you all thank you so much for watching hopefully you learned some things have a great day